all over the world welcome to my channel mob market so today we're gonna make the double tree signature cookies so this is our recipe for the first time ever double tree by hilton has published their famous cookie recipe because of the pandemic and guests are not allowed to travel right now they sent the recipe out so everybody can make it at home. So we are going to make the recipe right now. Uh, very simple, nothing nothing uh, crazy on here. Uh, the recipe does make about 26 cookies in this form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half since it's just the two of us Margates here. We don't need all of them. So we're gonna cut it in half, but this is the recipe. So if you want it, Hilton has it on their website, hilton.com and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make it now. So the, the first step is gonna be to cream the butter, sugar, and brown sugar in the bowl of the stand, uh, stand mixer. So we got our KitchenAid Professional 600 here, which is about 12 years old, but it still works like it's brand new. So we're gonna get our butter in there. We let our butter sit out for, I don't know, at least an hour and a half or so, so it should be nice and soft. We're gonna put our sugar in there. And our brown sugar. We'll start it at a low speed and then we'll increase. And it says uh, you're gonna wanna put it on the medium speed for about two minutes until it's nice and creamed. So it's nice and cream there. So to that mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add an egg. Lemon juice, which was just a little bit in vanilla, which we've mixed together here, in case you're wondering why we're only putting one dish in there. And we're gonna blend on low speed for 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, you're going to increase to medium speed for about two minutes until it's nice and fluffy. And you are gonna to have to scrape down the bowl, so I'm gonna let it run for about a minute, and then we're gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna go ahead and scrape the bowl for the second minute.
and scrape the bowl real quick and then we'll start it for the, the next minute. Us Margates really love double trees. We've stayed at several of them in our travels around the world. And it's probably our second favorite Hilton brand next to Conrad, of course, if you've watched our other videos. So we are anxiously hoping that this tastes just like the cookies at the hotel, because we haven't had it in a while since, like everybody else, we've been on lockdown at home. So we got that all scraped, so we'll go ahead and um, start for another minute at medium speed. actually gave it an extra 30 seconds because it does say two minutes or until nice and fluffy so it looks like it's to that nice and fluffy stage so you might want to do it about two minutes 30 seconds so we're gonna scrape the bowl down and then we're gonna start adding our next ingredients so the next ingredients gonna be added is gonna be the flour the oats, the baking soda, the salt, and the cinnamon. And it says to add while the mixer is on low speed. So be careful when you do this not to get your fingers or anything stuck in the mixer. Um, we got our flour, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon all mixed in one here. So we'll start with that. So that was our 45 seconds on low speed. And it looks like it's pretty well combined. So we're gonna go ahead and get the paddle off of here. And scrape this. To get, and we don't wanna leave any of the goodness on here.
So I'm going to go ahead and dislocate the bowl from the unit here. And it, then it says we're going to go ahead and you're going to fold in the chocolate chips, which we used a semi-sweet Toll House, which is what the recipe says. I'm sure you could use any semi-sweet, but we're hoping it tastes just like Double Tree, so we're going with exactly what they said. And our chopped walnuts. I'm sure if you have a allergy to nuts, you can leave the walnuts out. But for the purpose of this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and mix it in. One thing about the Double Tree cookie is we've always noticed that there's a lot of ingredients in them. They're not stingy on chocolate chips or anything. So this is getting a little difficult for me to mix with the scraper. So I am gonna switch to a spoon real quick just for the last 15 seconds of stirring it here. And just make sure you get the bottom in case there's any ingredients that did not get mixed while you were using your KitchenAid. But this looks like it's pretty well mixed. So the next step is gonna to be to go ahead and portion this out onto a greased uh, sheet pan or, um, or a parchment paper lined baking sheet, whatever you have. So we're gonna go ahead and get those portioned out. It says the, the recipe says it should be portioned by an ice cream scoop, which is roughly the size of a three tablespoon portion. So if you don't have a scoop, it should be about three tablespoons of cookie dough per cookie. So I'm gonna grab the sheet pan real quick. Already sprayed the, the pan with the, the nonstick spray, so we're not we're not going to use the parchment. We're just going to go with the nonstick spray. And like I said, the cookies are supposed to be one ice cream scoop, which is about three tablespoons roughly of mixture. Remember, a tablespoon is not very big, so you're doubting your cookie size, think of how big a tablespoon is compared to what your cookies are looking like. And I'm sure that that size, the three tablespoons that they're referencing on the recipe, is to make it to the size of the cookies they have at the hotel, which come in a little paper bag, which obviously you're not gonna have at home. Um, so really, if you make them a little smaller, you make them a little bigger, it's not gonna be a big deal because that was, I'm sure, for their cookies that they hand out that they all want to be the same size. But for home, it doesn't really matter. So we do have some extra dough, so we'll, we will portion that out later, but for, um, I cut the recipe in half and I got eight cookies out of it and it looks like we can probably get another six or seven out of here. So keep that in mind 
when you're making it. If you cut it in half, you're still gonna have about 15, 16 cookies. And then we're gonna take them. And the oven has already been preheated to 300 degrees. And they're gonna bake for about 20 to 23 minutes until the edges start to turn uh, brown and the center is uh, still soft. So you definitely don't wanna over bake them. So we'll set the timer for, um, we're gonna set it for 18 minutes and then we will, um, we'll check it then. So we're looking forward to some cookies. All right, so it's been about 19 minutes. Our cookies are starting to get golden brown. They're still soft in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out. I actually like if they're a little gooey in the middle, so. Um, but the pan is hot regardless, so even though they're a little soft in the center still, they'll continue to, to bake a little bit on this pan. So you're gonna let it cool. They, uh, Doubletree says for an hour, but of course that's probably so they can put it in the bag without the cookie uh, uh, melting everywhere. So I think if you let it sit for a good 15 minutes, they should be good to go. So we want to thank Hilton, Doubletree, and Hilton Honors for giving us the recipe. And again, if you're looking for the recipe, go to Hilton.com. And thanks for watching Mav Margate's channel.